Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Trigonometric Ratios. So we are going to look at the table of tangents. Before, in the previous lesson, we were able to calculate tangents using opposite sides and adjacent sides to the acute angle. But in some cases, you might need to use the table to be able to do that calculation. So when you are looking at the table of tangents, we can be able to calculate tangents of uh, acute angles by scale drawing. But alternatively, we can be able to use the table of tangents in the mathematical table. And this is how they look like. You notice there is a natural tangent in uh, mathematical tables. We have a section containing the value x's and then the decimal places and then we have an add section. In the same way we were looking at square root and logarithm, it's the same manner we are going to look at. Although we have some tables that also have been expressed in degrees and minutes. So for every one degree is equals to 60 minutes or written like this. So we are going to also get an opportunity to practice. You notice our tables do not have a minute but you can be given minutes in the exam so you can convert your minutes into degrees and still get the same answer so first of all we we'll start with looking for the value of uh, cb before we were able to get this value by uh, pythagoras theorem but you can see we do not have the hypotenuse so what we use is the tangent so we, we say that the term of that five degrees celsius is equal to opposite which is CB over BA. So this is the tan 35 degrees Celsius is equals to CB over 10. So you multiply by 10 both sides. We get 10 times tan 35 is our CB. We are looking for CB, but now we can do so by scale drawing or using the tables. So if we use the tables, we are going to read the tan of 35. So you go to the tables where 35 is, as you can see from the table, this is where we are, the lower, and the first decimal is 0, 0.0, so it's going to be um, 0 0.700, 0 0.7002. But remember, it's 10 times 10 times 10, 34, so times 10, which will give us 7. So our CB is going to be 7 centimeter from the mathematical table. Everything we have done is from the table. Let's do another example. Now you've been told to look for the value of PR. So PR is going to be tan 36 is equals to PR over 4 centimeters or QR, then times 4 both sides, which is going to give us 4 times tan 36 is equals to PR. So we go to 36, in 36, we get 0 0.7265 times 4, so that we can be able to get a PR. So 0 0.7265 times 4 will give us 2.906. So these are the values for PR. Sometimes you, could, you can be told to one decimal place or to a whole number. If it's to a whole number, it's going to be 3 centimeters. But I would advise you to put your first value before you round off or truncate. And if you are not stored so, you can leave your answer in decimal place. All right. So we have this question. Now this is on the opposite side. We do not have, we are looking for the angle now, which is tan x. We are looking for the x angle. So tan x is equals to 5 over 12. That is the opposite over adjacent, which is 5 over 12. So 5 divided by 12 gives us 0 0.4167. So we are tan x is equal to 0 0.4167. So it's like the opposite. So we are going to start from inside, going outside, so that you can be able to get the value of x, which is in degrees. So 0 0.4167. So you go to 4167. So 4167 we don't have, but we do have 4163. So that is on 22 degrees. If you go across, you see 22. 
and then upwards is 0 0.6 so 22.6 and then remember 4167 minus 4163 gives a difference of 4 so we go to the add section with 4 that is a 2 so the decrease will be 22.62 degrees so you see how we were able to get the value of x but it's in the opposite direction like we did with logarithm it's in the same manner so you can also be told uh, to express uh, each of the following in degrees and minutes. So we are going to express this in degrees and minutes. And then we are also going to get a chance to check that in the table. So remember we said one degree is equals to uh, 60 minutes. So we have 15 degrees, 15.3 degrees so this decimal which is 0 0.3 degrees is what you want to convert to minutes so we say one degree is equals to 60 minutes so what about 0 0.3 degrees will be how many minutes so if you take 0 0.3 times 60 it will give us 18 minutes so we can say this is 15 degrees and 18 minutes that is 15.3 and then 27.7, 25.75, this is the same as 25 degrees and 0 0.75 degrees. If you add this together, that's how you get 25.7. So you want to get the decimal and convert it into minutes. We know that one degree is equal to 60 minutes. So what about 0 0.75 degrees will be how many minutes? So this is the same as 0 0.75 times 60. So 0 0.75 times 60, which gives us 45 minutes. So we can say this is 25 degrees and 45 minutes. So same case with 30, 30 and a half degrees is the same as 30. Point, because a half is the same as 0 0.5. So it's 30.5 degrees. So this is 30 degrees plus 0 0.5 degrees. So you take the 0 0.5 bit and convert it into minutes. One degree is equal to 60 minutes. What about 0 0.5? So this is 0 0.5 times 60. So if you do 0 0.5 times 60, you're going to get 30 minutes. So that tells you that this is 30 degrees, 30 minutes. And the opposite is true. You can be given this and you're told to convert into degrees. Either way, you can do so. So the next final question is now, how can we be able to read this from our tangent table? The first question, you've, it's already been converted into degree. So our work is to read that directly from the table. So 18.75, we'll go to 18.7, we go across up to 0.7, which will give us 0. 0.3385 and 3, 3 is in the add section which is 6, 0 0.0006. So this is 11. So the turn of 18.73 is 0 0.3391. And then 55 and 53 minutes. Remember, we do not have 53 minutes in our table. But remember, we said one degree is equal to 60 minutes. What about 53 minutes? Because this is the only part that is in minutes. That means it's 1 times 53 divided by 60. So it's 53 divided by 60, which gives us 0 0.88. So this means it's 55 degrees plus 0 0.88, which gives us 55.88 degrees. So this is what you are checking in the table. So we go to 55. Remember our 55 is in the other table. Uh, we may not be able to get it from this table, but you go to 55. And then the second column, you go to 8. And the add, you go to 8. And then you add the value. You can do that on your own. So that brings us to the end of... Uh, reading the table of tangents. Remember, you can be given in degrees and minutes or minutes. Make sure you are able to convert between those two, as I've shown you. 
and you can read that comfortably from the table. There are some mathematical tables that are already in minutes. If you have such a mathematical table, it's possible for you to read directly from that. So you can get more topical revision questions uh, from the app and also notes on the same. So see you in the next episode.